Hi, first LEGO League teams. My name is James Carpenter and I'm a physicist, a scientist, working here with the European Space Agency at the European Space Research and Technology Centre, which is in the Netherlands. And I'm part of a team uh, working on human and robotic missions for the future to send humans and robots back to the moon to learn about the moon, to prepare for human exploration there and beyond out into the solar system. Now, now when you look at the sky at night and you see the moon, you're looking at a place that is really unique and extraordinary. It's the only place that everybody on Earth has seen and it actually comes from Earth. It was formed many, many billions of years ago in a huge impact when an object about the size of Mars smashed into the early Earth and threw debris up into space. This eventually came together and created the Moon and this partnership between our planet and our Moon has been fundamental to the creation of life on Earth and everything that we know today. It's also the only place other than the Earth where human beings have ever set foot. What I find amazing though is that this happened nearly 50 years ago, before even I was born. But I remember as a child I had books and I remember reading about these stories, about the adventures that these people like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin had had on the lunar surface. Landing there, exploring, uh, collecting samples, picking up rocks and using these to find out about the history of our planet, the history of the moon, the history of the solar system, and how all of these things are connected to make us here today possible. And so what's extraordinary now is that we are thinking for the first time in decades about sending humans back to the surface of the moon in partnership with robots. So what you're going to see happen in the coming years is humans leaving low Earth orbit, the area near the Earth where they've been for the last few decades and going out into deep space for the first time in decades. You're also going to start to see more robots going to the lunar surface, driving around, exploring, doing scientific experiments and preparing for the missions when humans will go back to the surface. What's amazing is that this time, it will be something that many countries participate in. It's gonna be something that many people are involved with, and it'll be an adventure, not just for those few people who get to set foot there, but for everybody on Earth. And so this is something that I hope that you get to be involved with, that you get to do. It's something that is possible by studying maths and science at school, by going into science and engineering as a career. And through this, you can make this possible, you could be involved in this, and you can be a part of what is an extraordinary adventure for the whole of humankind. Good luck.